The HyperStart procedure developed by Honeywell is designed to help operators avoid the following issues with the flight management system. FMS display unit temporarily blanking out in flight. FMS display reverting to independent mode. IC800 GPS clock stopping. FMS anomalies related to clock stopping. Operators have reported IC-800 clock stoppage in flight and the aircraft predicted performance being improperly displayed. The hyperstart procedure in many cases will prevent removal or replacement of LRUs by simply resetting the key random access memory internal to the IC-800. Before performing the hyperstart procedure, external power will need to be applied to the aircraft and the external power switch placed to the on position. Once power is available, the ICAST and avionics switches will need to be selected on. To perform a hyperstart, press the maintenance button on the lower left hand side of the FMS. The maintenance page one of three should now be displayed. Hit the next button, which will take you to maintenance page two of three. Locate and click the setup button to display the FMS setup page one of one. On the right hand side of the display, click on the engineering data button. This will navigate you to the engineering data one of one screen. On the upper left hand corner of the FMS, select the debug screen. You should now be in the debug monitor control one of two screen. Using the keypad, type in the word hyper, H, Y, P, E, R. Once you've typed in the word hyper, click on the DM command button on the right hand side of the FMS screen. Confirm the word hyper is displayed under the DM command prompt and then click on the execute button. The hyper start procedure is complete when the screen switches to the nav ident page. Because the aircraft is equipped with two independent flight management systems, the procedure will need to be repeated on the second FMS. It is recommended the hyperstart procedure be performed each time the NAV database is updated. Written procedures can be found on Honeywell Technical Newsletter A23-1149-009. A copy of the newsletter can be found by visiting CessnaSupport.com.